In this video, I'm going to talk about loop page. Now, loop page is a authoring canvas basically used to create uh, various uh, components within your page. Now, loop page is a larger canvas to organize and use all your loop component. Page belongs to a workspace and the page can contain various components. Page links can be shared with different users within your organization and pages basically stored in the backend SharePoint uh, document library. Now, page can reference people. Duplicate pages can be created out of a single page. One page can be shared with multiple workspaces and page can be deleted and retrieved back from the recycle bin. Now, page components. Page components can be created just by typing slash, okay, forward slash, and you will be able to create some various component. Now, some of the component which you can create are table, checklist, bulleted list, numbered list, date, call out, code, table of contents, divider, uh, heading one, two, three, inline code, quote, uh, then templates uh, is like task list, voting table, progress tracker, q and session. And from a communication perspective, you can add a person, emoji, pick a label, image, uh, GitHub application, Jira, Trello applications. Now, page components can be uh, also uh, contained. Basically, if you put an add the red sign, then you can reference people within your page component, as you can see over here. And you can also reference files uh, within your loop component. You can find the files by people, files, meetings, etc. And then you get a nice editor options within Microsoft Loop. Now let's jump into the demo. So if I'm in the loop.microsoft.com, let me create a, a workspace basically. So let me call it as uh, say December workspace. Okay, so this is my workspace which I have created. And let me create an icon. And now this is my workspace. So let me make it look pretty. So I will add a cover to that workspace. And this is my workspace. So this page, I will call it as uh, how to use loop okay, so this is my uh, workspace basically a uh, workspace uh, page which is called as how to use loop now here i told you that you need to type slash to add a table okay so if i put slash and select table then a table gets added table is very simple you can add a column you can rename the column say i'll call it as name and the column name i can use so h and here i can even drag and drop the columns okay from here to here i can add content so c1 um, and i have added the uh, content within the table now what else can i do with the table i can um, do a descending ascending sort i can insert column to the left i can insert column to the right I can add a row below. Okay, so if you see insert row below, then here I can add. And also from here I can sort, I can do a filtering, I can expand the table, I can collapse the table, and I can hide the column. So if I don't want to see, say, age column, I can hide that from here. If I don't want to see name column, I can hide it from here. However, I will hide column three and column four. And then again, I'll rearrange this okay also you can create a loop component out of this table so if i want to make this as a loop component i can create a loop component out of this table and then it will be enclosed with a component tab okay now i can delete the loop component and the link options i can see is show as loop component or show as url if i click on show as url then it will be shown as show as url again uh here i can just let me do a control Z. I'm back to my component view. Now here, let me add some more thing over here. Okay. So let me just give them space. If I put slash now, then I can add a checklist. Okay. So the checklist is basically a checklist which we can select from here. So I'm, I can select the checklist like this. Then the next option is to use bulleted list. I can add item one. So this is like bulleted list. Then the next option is create numbered list. So I can add one, two, and three. So that's a numbered list. Then 
I can select date. If I select forward date, it will tell me 12 days left. If I select uh, the past date, it will show me that the date has already five days ago. Okay, so I can select a date. Then I can use a call out. Now here in call out, I can put some content. So I'll let me call this one, say Alex. Uh, so something like this, I can add a call out. So this is called as basically a call out. Uh, next item is I can add a code component. I can select various code components like HTML, Java, CSS, C sharp, and then I can uh, start writing, you know. Like this, I can write the code. Then I can use table of contents, but before we use table of content, I will make use of heading. So say maybe this is uh, intro, and then maybe this one, I'll, I'll just say heading one as a table list, so something like this. And once we have the header component here, maybe at the top, you know, I will just say table of contents. If I select table of content, then it will list down the H1 tag. Now I have one H1 tag, which is an introduction. Uh, now, if I copy in another h1 tag maybe uh, conclusion okay so if i select head i'm going to call it as conclusion and if i say inference so now i have three h1 tag now these all will be reflected in the table over here so if you see over here the table of content is updated with the h1 tag now that's how you put in a uh, table of content Moving on, you have a divider, so you can use divider if you want to segregate the section. So I've added divider. Then uh, text style. So you have heading H1, H2, H3. I've already covered H1. I won't cover much. I'll say H3. So this is um, text. Okay. So this is H3 text. Now next, inline code. I can put an inline code. So where C equal to 13 into 5. Now the, the difference between this inline code and the code is inline code is just one line okay but this one you can go into multiple lines okay so for the code you can have multiple lines but inline code is just one line code then coming back to code so if you want to code something so then you can put some nice text okay around it so this is like on basis of uh, the the text which you enter and it will look in a uh, it will look uh, basically uh, kind of a, like a markdown interface okay now next you can do a whole bunch of things on the task list so here you will get a predefined task list so as you see over here this is a task list which has a task assigned to due date you can select assignee from your active directory you can select the date and you can put a task over here so that's about task list then moving on to voting table so here you'll see a voting table here by you can put your idea okay so you can say and you can put a vote so i've just put vote one for pear and apple and you can add another record i can say orange as well and then i can put a pros and cons and if i don't want this i can simply remove this column okay so i can just remove the pros and cons column and then i'll just uh, get the ideas and votes now next the other template which i can see over here task list is done voting table and there is a progress tracker so you can have you can track the work so if i have work one and the work one is assigned to an owner so maybe adele and alex i i want to track how the progress is going with the same progress off track what is the end date and if there are any blockers This is how you can create a progress tracker. Next one is QA session. So you can ask question. Okay, what is Power Apps? Okay. And then you can also type in your answer. So Power Apps is part of our platform. Okay, and you can also request the response from uh, various team members. So, if this document is shared with 
various team member they can also type their own answer okay and if someone types that answer then you will be able to see that answer now how do we do that you know you need to first uh, share this page so let me share this entire workspace with say alex okay now alex will also receive this how to use loop page and let me uh, log in as alex now alex uh, will receive an email once this workspace is shared uh, and then once this uh, and then alex can also go into say loop directly and he can see the workspace the december workspace and how to use loop and maybe alex can then let me close this alex can also respond to the question so what is power apps? so alex might say uh, power apps is fun okay so this is what is alex's response okay Remove oh, this because this was Kirish's response. Okay, now like this, we can have multiple responses by the user. Okay, now let me minimize this. And if you see here, you can get all the responses from the user. So that's about question answer. Then uh, we can uh, go into communication. So you can seriously uh, point a person. Uh, to some activity so if i put at the right person and then i can say alex please focus on some assignment okay so that's like actually pointing to a person and then that point the person will get that reference indicator then we have emoji picker emoji picker is very simple you can pick up various emojis okay from the available list and then you can select various emoji then uh, we have a label so you can select not charted in progress completed off track from a progress label perspective then there is a priority label perspective so let me pick high priority label okay now if you are not happy with this uh, label then what you can do is you can go into the label and then you can create your own group now if i create a new group called as t-shirt size i will call it as l m and xl okay and I'll save this. Now, if I want to use that t-shirt size, I will just say label, create a label, and here I should see the L and the Excel. And this is how you create a label. And you can use this label anywhere. You know, you can use it in uh, various uh, table, various text items, so on and so forth. Then if I go to slash, then I can add an image. If I click on image, it will ask me to upload an image, and then you can upload an image. Microsoft apps, GitHub, if I click on GitHub, then what it will do, it will try to connect the GitHub repository with this particular page. Now, remember, you need to have that active connection. Now, once you have that connection, you can click on proceed and then it allows you to import and manage your GitHub issues and pull request. So everyone on this file will be able to view imported issues and PR. So this is how you can use GitHub. Now, next item, what you can do is you can also connect your Jira board. So Loop allows you to import and manage your Jira issues. So you can import all the Jira issues in this particular page. Everyone on this file will be able to view any filters that you import. So that's how we do with Jira. Now, there is an, another uh, component which you can integrate is Trello. So in Trello, Loop allows you to import and manage your Trello boards. So all the Trello boards, if it is linked, then it, it can be used in uh, this particular page now remember this is in a preview state so that's it folks uh, we have i think we have covered most of the things over here now one more uh, bonus tip which i want to share with you guys say if you uh, type in some text okay so let me type in let me use some text over here now if you want to put some highlight over here now you can see this uh, bubble icon so if i click on this bubble icon you can comment on it okay so i am just putting some comment this is girish comment and you can send across that comment now if you again click on it you can heart it out so you have just heart this uh, item here if i click on it you just put a thumbs up okay now let me add one more here if i click on one more i can put an thinking icon and here you have an emoji picker then there is something called as boost picker so if i click on boost picker like this then it will add some sort of an animation okay so 
like this animation okay now let me do again for uh, this item okay boost pickup and let me see a celebration so let me write hip hip hooray okay so if you want to celebrate some content then you can you know like like do like this if i click on this love this if i click on celebrate this is how you can put and the last one was for the boost was uh putting uh, some highlight okay say if you want to really focus on some item focus on this okay and you can just put boost and see what happens okay now this is the hard one if this is a boost one if this is a very important item which it needs to be completed you can just put a focus on this and then you can say get a ship will focus on this and that's how you create those animations so that's it for this is all about the component within loop page thanks for watching